guys hang with us as we travel to Arizona. We're gonna see the Grand Canyon. We're gonna meet some old friends along the way and ask them the simple question. What does prayer mean to you and how has it impacted your life? And we're going to Arizona to interview the CEO and founder of Revolution Wellness. We're so pumped to learn more about that ministry and see what Arizona has to offer. So come along with us. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. wondering what happened in between Colorado and landing here at the Grand Canyon. Well not a whole lot because of course we live in Colorado so we're kind of spoiled by seeing that so we didn't feel much there. The first cool thing we wanted to bring you was the Four Corners and unfortunately uh, the Indians have that place locked down right now due to COVID so that was a bummer. So then we stayed in Flagstaff, Arizona last night and we're really hoping that's our last Motel 6. Guys, it was the pits, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a bummer. So we're looking into getting a camper, so praying with Charles can go on the road and just stay out for weeks at a time and pretty much be done with hotels as much as possible. But guys, looking at the Grand Canyon, whoo, I'm telling you, listen, this is what I picture when I see the Grand Canyon, God's throne room. You know, a place where just angels and brothers and sisters in Christ are worshiping God. You know, we, we were in South Dakota not too long ago over at the Cathedral Park and these places that God created give me this imagery of just worshiping God. God's throne would make this place look like the Motel 6, amen? God's throne is going to be so amazing and I'm going to be there with you guys because you put your trust and your hope and your faith in the Lord and we're going to be there worshiping together. Oh, failure as a wife. I dropped my phone in the Grand Canyon. My husband is going to get it. guys and now for your one minute praying with Charles money saving hack we're talking shopping at Walmart so something we do is we drink a ton of water when we're out on these road trips especially in Arizona so rather than buying a bottle of water individually we buy these little guys from Walmart and fill them up along the way and then we like to get our snacks at Walmart as well that way it's cheaper than the gas stations 
and we already got it in the car. And this has been your one minute money saving hack with praying with Charles. Hey friends, I'm popping in real quick. I'm back at home editing this video. And first I wanna say, hey, if you're enjoying this content, would you please smash the like button and consider subscribing? But we made it over to Mesa, Arizona, and I'm sitting down with Mark. I'm gonna show you guys just a tiny clip, but it's so good I'm making a video out of it. Guys, Mark prays for everyone he knows every single day. So I encourage you to put your name down in the comments below. That way we can flood him with a few more names that he gets to pray for every day. But here's that clip. I had to go back and I had to write down everybody that I knew. Um, it came to me through a book by Larry Lee of that you need to pray for everybody every day. And um, not knowing all the needs of, of what's what they need but the Holy Spirit does and so uh, and I couldn't remember everybody on a daily basis it take me 10 hours to try to remember people so I wrote it down every name of everybody that I know and to pray with them pray for them every day and... Revelation Wellness it's our vision uh, to use fitness and wellness as a tool to spread the gospel mm -hmm. um, the wellness industry right now is an ever-growing trillion dollar industry. Oh my goodness. So people continue to uh, seek you know, well-being. Yeah. Um, and we know we're living in a time where we're sent a lot of messages about our physicality, our body, what we should look like. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're just really excited to uh, <laughs> surprise people with the love of God in okay. a place that awesome, often is kind of, can, can be very dry. All wow. right, friends, we just got done over at Revelation Wellness. Man, that was such an awesome time. Uh, we're about to meet up with my buddy Andre. We're still in Phoenix and I haven't seen this dude for I bet 10 years. I, I can't believe how the time flies. So we're about to be reunited and it feels so good. Going on. Dude. 10 Thanks. years baby. That's right. Still going strong. <laughs> <laughs> so we made our way over to Genghis Grill and this is Andre's first time ever so first. if he did bad then that's <laughs> on him <laughs> but yeah so Andre I've been wanting to talk to you about this for a while man All what's right. your prayer life like my prayer life is uh, very it's 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 different now it's different now because uh, with everything going I'm not it, it's not that it's uh, different in I am not having it, but just uh -huh. what I'm praying about. Interesting. The, 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 the and now you're a dad, so there's probably a new set absolutely. of things to pray for. There's so many <laughs> things that you don't realize how much you have to pray until you start um, looking around <laughs> with your right. spiritual eyes. And we were, I know you're so big into fitness, but you were just over at uh, Revelation Wellness, and they're all about fitness, and yes. how have you seen God move and encourage you through wrestling and through coaching wrestling and uh, what role do you think you've seen God play in that for you? Um, well, I think fitness in general is just, it's just a struggle, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's you meeting adversity and I think it's such a great training ground for life. It's such a great training ground for your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. um, I can draw so many parallels of me not wanting to get up and go work out and me not wanting to get up and go pray and yeah. just understanding that there it, it really yeah. works hand in hand uh encompassing those three things body mind and spirit so okay heck yeah and so tell these guys about the uh, alligators down in louisiana that we found <laughs> well i'm not gonna lie alligator meat kind of looks like this but uh <laughs> no the ones that we were uh Feeding chicken um, too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I all I remember from that trip is don't go into the swamps alone. Uh, there's <laughs> always an alligator around, and yeah. alligator tastes like chicken nuggets. That's about really 
as much as I remember from that trip. But it so was Andre and I in what, 2006, seven. We we're doing disaster relief down in Cameron, Louisiana area. Oh yes. And so we took we took a team down there, and of course met in college, and it's been <laughs> unfortunately like ten years. Too long. Way too long, mm -hmm. but yeah, man. What's some last words of encouragement for these guys to encourage them in their faith and get them motivated and pumped up? I would really say re-examine your relationship uh, with God and understand what is that dynamic. Is, is God just somebody that you uh, look to when you are in trouble? Is it somebody that you just kind of have on your mantle and just kind of look to on Sundays? Or is he really a part of your life? Is he really uh, woven into the steps that you take, into your speech, into how you believe, how you think? You know, the Bible says that um, you have to have, you have to serve him with your mind. And you have to have a, a new attitude in your mind about him. Uh, and that's the thing is when you come out of your old life, you, you have to be renewed. You have to understand this is not what you want and you have to uh, pull yourself into that renewing of your spirit and renewing of your mind. And that, that's a daily thing. It's not something that's going to happen one time and you're going to be good. It's going to happen throughout your life uh, every day until, until we go on to our next life. So um, really re examine that relationship and don't get complacent in it. I love it, man. And seeing that you stayed in fit, <laughs> obviously you're a guy that knows all about uh, the daily pursuit of something. So I really appreciate that. Dude, I can't wait to chat out on this food. So happy to reconnect. <laughs> hey, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna take off for Colorado and see a little different portion of Arizona and then get back after it on the long open road. So we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, friends, what do you say we finish this vlog right here by this cool cactus? Guys, we had such a good time here in Arizona. We got to see the Grand Canyon. Man, we didn't get enough time there at all. You know, Arizona took a little piece of our heart. We're gonna have to keep coming back here and coming back often. But hey, we got to see Andre, we got to see Mark and Elaine Zook, and we got to film at Revelation Wellness. And so that was just an awesome experience for us. I'd love for you guys to go check out that video when it gets up and see if you can't get plugged in with them a bit. But guys, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep bringing you prayer, travel, and adventure as we cover America and as we get into the nations, uh, we're just trying to find out how God's talking to his people and how they're talking to him, how he's responding when people pray. It's just such a joy to be a part of the kingdom of God. Guys, what I'm hearing the Lord say right now at this point is that he's got this. He's got it under control. Whatever it is in your life, just know we're always praying for you. We love for you. Like I said in the video for Mark, you know, put your name down there. That way you can get him praying for you, but we're always praying for you guys. We'd love to know what's going on, so leave us a comment below. Make sure and subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button, that just sends YouTube all kinds of good warm feelings about our channel. But guys, we love you, keep praying, and we'll see you in the next one.